are back in the entrance of the annex building. Our group did their best to sort and organize this area, throwing out quite a bit of trash. Um, we started with these cabinets and we went through and started uh, organizing things for um, likeness, such as uh, color sample issues, anodized samples. Um, we also have some face covers here. This will definitely help me when I'm checking first article samples for projects. I now have it organized so I can quickly locate a part I'm looking for. Um, over here, this area was full of glass samples that weren't being used. Uh, we got rid of all the samples. We asked Elena which ones she wanted to keep, and it was mainly the fire rated glass. So um, we now have that sorted by the type. We also have panel samples up here. Um, over here we went through and got rid of all the different colors of uh, samples, of pollock samples, uh, that we no longer use. We went through all the drawers and um, any current paint samples. We have organized by paint manufacturer, paint type. Um, we also created a database that shows what samples we do have. Uh, we got rid of all the project samples and kept one sample from each project and also um, created a database that uh, if you're looking for a color used on a specific project, it has a project name and then also what color was used and we can look through here and find that color if for some reason somebody needs it. Uh, we also took L. Pollock samples and organized those by types and finishes. And so then over here on the copier side, we just cleaned up and uh, sorted what we have and now the space is looking a little bit more organized. And that is our two-second link.